There was a relative of Naomi's husband, a man of great wealth, the family of Elimelech. His name was Boaz. So Ruth, the Moabitess, said to Naomi, please let me go to the field and glean heads of grain after him in whose sight I may find favor. And she said to her, go, my daughter. Then she left and went and gleaned in a field after the reapers. And she happened to come to the part of the field belonging to Boaz, who was of the family of Elimelech. Now, behold, Boaz came from Bethlehem and said to the reapers, the Lord be with you. They answered him, the Lord bless you. Then Boaz said to his servant, who was in charge of the reapers, Whose young woman is this? So the servant who was in charge of the reapers answered and said, It is the young Moabite woman who came back with Naomi from the country of Moab. And she said, Please let me glean and gather after the reapers among the sheaves. So she came and has continued from morning until now, though she rested a little in the house. Then Boaz said to Ruth, you will listen, my daughter, will you not? Do not go to glean in another field, nor go from here, but stay close by my young women. Let your eyes be on the field which they reap and go after them. Have I not commanded the young men not to touch you? And when you are thirsty, go to the vessels and drink from what the young men have drawn. So she fell on her face, bowed, down to the ground and said to him, why have I found favor in your eyes that you should take notice of me since I am a foreigner? And Boaz answered and said to her, it has been fully reported to me all that you have done for your mother-in-law since the death of your husband, how you left your father your, and your mother and the land of your birth and have come to a people whom you did not know before. The Lord repay your work, and a full reward will be given you by the God of Israel, under whose wing you have come for refuge. Then she said, Let me find favor in your sight, my Lord, for you have comforted me and have spoken kindly to your maidservant, though. I am not like one of your maidservant. Now Boaz said to her at mealtime, come here and eat of the bread and deep your piece of bread in the vinegar. So she sat beside the reapers and passed parched grains to her. And she ate and was satisfied and kept some back. And she rose up to glean. Boaz commanded his young men saying, let her glean even among the sheaves and do not reproach her. Also let grain from the bundles fall purposely for her. Leave it that she may glean and do not rebuke her. So she gleaned in the field until evening and beat out what she had gathered. And it was an ephah of barley. Then she took it up, went into the city. and Her mother-in-law saw what she had gleaned. So she brought out and gave it to her. She was kept back after she had been satisfied. And her mother-in-law said to her, where have you gleaned today? And where did you work? Blessed be the one who took notice of you. So she told her mother-in-law with whom she had worked and said, the man's name with whom I worked is Boaz. And Naomi said to her daughter-in-law, Blessed be he of the Lord, who has not forsaken his kindness to the living and the dead. And Naomi said to her, this man is a relation of ours, one of our close relatives. Ruth the Moabite said, he also said to me, you shall stay close by my young men until they have finished all the harvest. 
And Naomi said to Ruth, her daughter-in-law, it is good, my daughter, that you go with his young women and that people do not meet you in any other field. So she stayed close by the young men of Bo young women of Boaz to glean until the end of the barley harvest and wheat harvest. And she dwelt with her mother-in-law. You know, it doesn't take much to see. Uh, it's a beautiful story of, of God's provision in other people. But also, you can see a reflection of yourself when you come out of your unbelief and start following the Lord. You can see that same dynamic in verse 11. It has been fully reported to me all that you have done for your mother-in-law since the death of your husband and how you left your father, your mother, and the land of your birth and have come to a people whom you did not know before. That's, uh, that's an interesting dichotomy in the fact that we as believers leave our family sometimes to go and seek out other a new family, a new people. Sometimes we have to do this and we come to a place where the Lord has provided us. And just like Boaz is, is a beautiful symbol of Jesus, showing us such favor when we are a foreigner, when we're a pagan, when we're sinful and dirty, he still grants us such grace. He allows us to be amongst his people. He tells his servants to show us favor and to provide for us. And he gives us protection and also offers us freely to drink of water that we did not labor for and produce we did not plant nor tend. This is, this is a beautiful picture of our gracious God and we who follow and come to a new land, this new land of faith new land of fully giving ourselves over to Christ. Ruth and Boaz are a beautiful image of the church in the form of Ruth, Boaz, the bridegroom, the one we await, the one that we is magnanimous to us. Something to keep in mind as we continue our study in Ruth.